G'day, I'm Lucia and welcome to my art channel. In today's video I am going to do a, a second version of the inspired piece from Molly's artistry which was the fire um, that I did last week. This week I want to do the water so it'll be splashes of water here and there in lots and lots of blues and greens. So um, as before, my base colour is Montmartre White, Titanium White. Uh, the colours I'll be using are uh, Eraldo de Paolo Metallic Ocean Blue, um, Holcroft uh, Scuba Diver. Oh, you can see that colour. Hopefully these um, Holcroft ones, they're high flow acrylics, so hopefully they're a little bit, uh, they're thicker than what they have been in the past because they tend to be a little bit um, thin so hopefully they won't be too thin for this painting um, Hellcroft Metallic Paradise it's a nice color that one it's got sort of a, a bit of a um, blue green tinge to it color shift I'm going to add the uh, metallic ice I really love that uh, and that's from Holcroft as well. Another Holcroft one is Marina. It's got that bluey, greeny beach feel. Eraldo de Palo Palm Green and Deep Sea Mix. Um, give them a little bit of a shake. This one is Captain's Blue by Eraldo de Palo. Uh, this one is a Pebio Iridescent green uh, blue green this one this one's the Eraldo de Paolo metallic sky love this one it's very pretty and finally uh, Eraldo de Paolo de Paolo tranquility um, which is a really really pale pale blue it's really pretty as well and that's uh, I think that one's a um Okay, colour. All right, let's get started. Uh, the canvas I'll be using is, I think it's a 40 by 60 or 40 by 50. Let me just check. It's a 40 by 40 by 50 centimetres, which is um, 16 by 20 inches. All right, let's get started. I think I've got enough of this for the whole canvas. Just, just enough. Got a bit of a spread. Now with the red one, I did um, did use a lot of paints, and again, I'm using a lot of paints. My quota is usually about ten different colours. And that was all right with the red one. It turned out pretty good, actually. It was a little bit too red, so I'm thinking I might redo it with a bit more orange and yellow in it. Um, and one of the colours I used when I put it on, I don't know whether you re might remember if you saw the video, the flow troll came out without the actual paint because I hadn't shaken the bottle. And that kind of created a few little hassles on that last one. So I am thinking of redoing that one um, for that reason. But we'll see how we go with this one. Hopefully it's not too much paint. Didn't seem to be too much paint last time, even though I thought it was. But we'll see how it goes. And I hope my water turns out as well as my fire did because uh, <laughs> that would be really awesome. All right, let's start with um, the uh, Eraldo de Paolo Ocean Blue, or EDP as I call it. I might not do as many big pieces like I did last time. Big blobs, so I might do them a little bit smaller. She says as she adds a few a bit too much paint. All right, now 
are, these are the ones that I'm a little bit concerned about because, as I said, these tend to be a little bit thin. So let's hope they're not, oops, yeah, they are a bit thin. They are a little too thin. So I might not put a lot of paint on these. That one especially is very thin. I'll just pop it on top. Hmm. The scuba diver. It's a beautiful colour. But yeah, just a tad thin. Let's hope they're not all like that. Usually some are, some are not. Hoping this one is not. Yeah, this one's better. So yeah, the scuba diver one was a little bit thin. This one's oops. This one's fine. It's just that the hole's a little bit strange, so it's coming out a little bit weird. Looks like it might be blocked. I'll have to clean that, see if it'll come out. That's better. It'll be fine. Phew! Maybe a little too much. I'll put that one aside and I'll clean it up after. Alrighty, I love that colour. It's very pretty. That one, if I had, didn't mention, was um, Metallic Paradise. See how it's got a little bit of a, a blue-green colour shift in it? And a little bit of um, this. This tend to, has a tendency to turn a bit silver. So I love this colour. Okay, and that's nice and thick. It's not really thin, that one. So far, so good. There's only one that's been a bit thin. Hopefully that won't, um, yeah, oops, that one's also a little bit thin. That one is um, Marina by Holcroft. Yeah, this one's also a little bit thin. Alrighty, and lots of bubbles, which I'll have to um, torch out before I start. Oh, that blue has started with the tendril, uh, the, um, what do you call that? I forgot what it's called. Oh, that one's a bit thin too. It's one I've mixed, so I'm not sure why it's thin. Let's hope this is not going to be a problem. Tendrites, that's what it's called. I don't mind them actually, I think they look pretty good. They look a bit like coral. Lots of bubbles, I'm gonna to have to really, it's not because I'm shaking them so bad. All right, that's a lot of paint, but I do wanna put those colors in so This one is that captain's captain's blue. I kind of like this colour. It's very really pretty. All right, lots of pretty blues there. Now with this one, I'm thinking because I want the highlights. I used this last last week, so it shouldn't be too thin. So I'll just do that to give it some highlights here and there and hopefully a little bit of shimmer that's the sky blue oh look at that too bad I have to um blow it out oops now it's stuck doesn't want to come out really Yeah, that should do it, I think. Don't want to put this, already a lot of blues on there, a lot of paint. 
like last time. And lucky last, this is the uh, Tranquility. It's no paint colour, so I'm going to sprinkle it on there like that. Not a lot, just a little bit, just to give it some highlights. All right. Let's go, hey? Wish me luck. One thing I will do before I blow it out is get rid of those bubbles if I can because there's lots of them. Way too many. Wow, way too many. Unlike last time, last time it was beautiful. No, hardly any bubbles at all. This time, heaps of bubbles. Look at that. Heaps of bubbles. Oh, look at those uh, dendrites. Aren't they gorgeous? I actually love them. Pity I'm going to have to blow them out. are gorgeous I love color okay wow that's pretty cool the paint is a bit thick so, uh, thin sorry in some spots those couple that were really little, little bit thinner are running I can see and see it underneath the um so I might give it a quick clean underneath straight away to stop that running off the canvas. A little gooby. Yeah, I think it is. So it is. That was a bubble. So I'll give that a quick clean underneath the back side for that reason because it is pretty runny in some spots. But wow. Oh, look at all those um, cells and lacing coming up already. That's gorgeous. Yeah, so those little bits there that got splattered, I don't really like those, but I'll fix them up. I do have to do the, oh, I'm thinking I'm getting some of those tendrites up there as well. All right, so I'll give them a wipe and then I might get the straw and give that a little bit of a blow up the top just to give it a, more of a, a wave sort of flicker. Gosh, those colours are gorgeous. Looks like um, ocean turmoil. That's what it reminds me of. Now, Straw, where are you hiding? it a little bit yeah I'm liking that now I'm going to try and clean up those little bits of splatter This has come up a lot more, a lot higher than the um, red one did. So there's a lot less negative space, but you know, it doesn't look bad. Let's hope it doesn't crack and that there's not too much paint on there.
Wow, gee, that area there is beautiful. Oh, gosh, that's pretty. And that looks like waves, um, the foamy part of the waves up there. Yeah, very beautiful along there. I love that area. And I love that bit there. I like those that foamy part there. Very pretty here. Just there. Okay. I'll give it another torch. And that's it, I think. I'll give you a close up. And we'll see how we go. Hopefully it'll dry really nicely. Wow, that's beautiful. Those colours are gorgeous. I was going to say there's not much uh, butane in that. Wow. Oh, looks like there's a bubble up there. Okay, I think that's it. It's better. Get rid of that little white bit there. It's better. And there's another one there. All right. Oh, a few of them are coming through now. I think there's a little bit of crazing happening there. I think that might have, and there, that will be from those thin paints, I reckon. And there's some dendrites trying to happen around there. Oh well, so be it I guess. See how it goes. Yeah, there's some dendrites happening there. Uh, not dendrites, some crazing. Can't be helped, I don't think. Like I said, it would be in those um, thin paints. Anyway, I will bring the camera down. Some of my friends have told me to use the flash when I bring it down, so I might just do that. I'll switch the light off, the ring light off. Yeah, that is better. Thanks, friends, all my arty friends that uh, suggested I use the flash and switch off the um, ring light. Thank you. That is really pretty. Wow, look at that. That beautiful shimmer there of that metallic paradise, that is so gorgeous. And also that might be a little bit of the uh, Pebio that blue green part of it there oh wow that shimmer is gorgeous 
And as I said, that um, metallic ice looks like silver. That dark, darker bit there is the ocean blue. Wow, very pretty. Not sure about those bits up the top. They don't look very um, wavy-like. Yeah, very pretty. That's it. Thank you for being here. Until next time, take care. Bye.